Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in our previous video, what we have seen? We have seen how we can get the data between the two dates using the JPA specifications. Then we have applied the sort and the sort on a custom column name we have given and the order also we have given from the input. Let's hit this and let's see the response we are getting the response like this right this is good but what if the number of results are way too much then in that case it is becomes very hard right we need to apply the pagination at that time right so in this video we are going to see how we can apply the pagination on the results and we are going to see the sort as well inside the pagination okay so let's uh let's start from there here this is my project let's go to the specification now you could see here jpa specification executor if you go here there is a overloaded method this one page uh page t of this guy okay pageable object this guy we are going to talk okay so pagination uh, specification object we need to build then the pageable if you get into the pageable that means we need to build this pageable object if you get into the pageable you could see here there is uh, uh, different methods to you know uh, to get this pageable okay so uh, if you see here this one is what we need something like page request dot of okay here we can use and here only we can perform the sort as well that we will see slowly okay that means what we need to do we need to uh, if you see here page number is a one input and the page size these two should come from the input okay so so that i can you know request for how many pages uh how many pages whatever the page i want i can go there and how many results should be there in a in a page also i can request right so in order to do that i will go into have private integer like page number then private integer uh page size these two things i will take it okay and what is uh, my endpoint will return endpoint will return page right so i can use the already existing one only or else i can let's use the existing one because i don't want this is good because this is going to be very repetitive right so that's why by between dates is there here we are getting the data from the input and uh, if you come here i am calling my service in the service i am i am generating the specification between these two dates which we have already discussed as part of my previous video where i'll i'll tell you on a high level where the data between these two dates are coming by comma separated and what we are doing there we are splitting by comma and using the simple date format we are converting it the these into the date objects as a start date and end date then with the help of between operation we are performing that uh, results cool now coming back to the next one here we are taking the uh, we are calling this method getting the specification object then we are building the sort operation sort uh, object and we are passing that that is as part of previous video now we need to do one more thing which is page object right so how we can do that okay so integer uh, page uh, number is equal to input dot get page number then integer uh, page uh, size is equal to equal to input dot get page size okay i have these two objects now let's do this page 
request dot of now you could see page number and page size this will get it from the input the only thing here is this guy okay let's do one thing here uh, let's define some uh, let's define some uh, default values in case if you have not set the values there okay so to do that I simply take out this guy and uh, give 0 as a default value okay now what I will do is I will get this page number if it is greater than 0 then let's uh, use this guy directly I'll tell you I'll tell you what I am going to do if it is greater than 0 let's use this guy else this dot page number or else let's use this only page number only okay this is a condition I will set into this okay so that means what we are doing simply getting the input as a uh, page number input we are getting from input if it is greater than zero let's use that one uh, greater than r equal to zero let's keep that way okay greater than r is equal to zero let's use that else use the existing object that means if i pass some negative numbers get the zeroth index simply similarly we can use for the page size as well okay that means input dot get page size if it is greater than r is equal to 0 then let's use that input dot get page size else use the existing page size itself okay this let's define the page size as two records per page okay this I'm assigning it to this guy page size now if you see here page request I have page number then I have the page size this is good okay this is good now simply let's keep this guy down here and let's pass sort as well okay this is nothing but my pageable object pageable okay pageable okay this pageable if you go to the find all i can send this here directly right so simply instead of sort let's use pageable okay pageable let's create a uh, variable here uh, 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 uh. okay this is nothing but page object pageable you could see here it is nothing but page t okay right so page employee object we are getting okay page something like page employee okay and let's import our page object okay now i have this simply use this page employee dot get contents there is a one method called get content which will return me the list of employee that is going to be my return type right so return page employee if you want to return only page that also you can do let's just that i have the already existing controller i don't want to disturb it that's why okay i think we are good to go i think there is some issue anyway no controller if you go to the employee controller you are already hooked into it yeah cool nice let's refresh this guy in the meantime let's build our uh, postman operation i think yeah i think here there is some issue cool no issue now go to the uh, pagination input
Oh, sabe, sabe. Specification input, yeah, sorry, yes. So let's build our input in the meantime. Huh. So here I have page number. Let's define zeroth page and I have the page size. Let's define, you know, uh, let's define two records or three records into this page. Okay. Now my application is started. Now let's open a DB and see the data in what we have it in employee. If you see here as employee data, what we have, we have this five rows and we got this. Okay. Now here, what we are passing as part of input, I am passing date of joining column um, date between these two. Okay. So that's my first filter condition 2014 till 2023. So all records will come in here. Okay. Then what we are doing, we are asking to get the pagination here. Let's get zero page and only three records should come in the zero page and how that should be date of joining in ascending order. I will let's say like salary as of now for better understanding salary in descending order. What is this salary? Salary is nothing but another column here in descending order. That means what it will do. It will return first page in descending order. Okay. Only three records should be there. Okay. I think 500 I got it. Why? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Salary. I think I given the wrong spelling. Now, if I execute here, now you could see only three records and as in a descending order 5,000, 5,000 and 40,000, sorry, 50,000, 50,000 and 40,000. And there were two more records, 30,000 and 10,000. That will come if I give one. Now you could see 30,000 and 40,000. That means we have achieved the pagination and the sorting as well. Now this is a dynamic object. So let's go with name uh, in ascending order and how many records you want. I want five records and bring me it zero page. Now you could see in ascending order we are getting this here. Kartik, Navesh, Rama like that. If I keep it descending order, what it should do should get by descending order. Okay. Should get by descending order. That's good. If I give out of index something like 10, at 10th page, we don't have records. So we got this. Let's pass minus uh, one here. In that case, only the first record should first page will get because we have handled that exception. That is not exception. We have handled that scenario. Okay. Yeah. So this is about how we can perform the uh, specific, uh, we can perform the pagination in the JPA specifications, right? Uh, this is not just related to the JPA specification. This is a common uh, JPA future. Okay. We have just used that. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. It's me, Karthik.